Welcome to Turkic Tales, the YouTube channel that showcases the rich history, culture, and achievements of the Turkic people. In this video, we'll be discussing one of the greatest leaders of the Ottoman Empire, Fatih Sultan Mehmet, also known as Mehmet II. In today's video, we're delving into the remarkable story of Fatih Sultan Mehmet, a ruler whose intellect, military prowess, and cultural contributions reshaped the world. This enigmatic leader not only changed the course of history, but also left a lasting legacy that continues to fascinate and inspire. Join us as we uncover the many facets of Fatih Sultan Mehmet's life and reign, and discover how his exceptional achievements made him one of the most important figures in the Ottoman Empire. Stay tuned for an enlightening journey that promises to captivate and educate. Mehmet II, also known as Fatih Sultan Mehmet, was born into the Ottoman royal family in the city of Edirne, Turkey in 1432. He was the fourth son of Sultan Murad II, and his mother was Huma Hatun, who was known for her beauty and intelligence. Mehmet II received a comprehensive education from a young age that included mathematics, science, and the Quran. He was also fluent in Arabic, Persian, and Turkish. According to historical accounts, Mehmet II began studying Arabic and Persian at the age of six and had already mastered these languages by the age of ten. He then turned his attention to Turkish and became fluent in the language by the age of twelve. At the age of twelve, Mehmet II was appointed as the governor of Amasya, a city in northern Anatolia. This was a significant responsibility for someone so young, but it was a tradition in the Ottoman Empire to give young princes experience in governance. Mehmet II proved to be a capable governor, and he quickly gained the respect of the people. During his time in Amasya, Mehmet II gained valuable experience in governing and leading a city. He proved to be a fair and just leader, and he worked hard to improve the lives of the people living under his rule. He also developed a reputation as a skilled military leader, and his success in military campaigns earned him the respect and admiration of his father, Sultan Murad II. Overall, Mehmet II's early life and education provided him with the skills, knowledge, and experience necessary to become one of the greatest leaders in Ottoman history. His mastery of multiple languages allowed him to communicate effectively with people from different regions and cultures, which proved to be a valuable asset throughout his life, achievement, and conquest. The Conquest of Constantinople Mehmet II's conquest of Constantinople was a remarkable feat of military strategy and engineering. After several failed attempts to conquer the city, Mehmet II began to plan his final assault on the Byzantine capital in early 1453. To prepare for the siege, Mehmet II ordered the construction of several massive cannons, which were some of the largest ever made at the time. He also amassed a vast army that included both Ottoman soldiers and mercenaries from other regions. The Ottomans' first major obstacle was the city's heavily fortified walls, which had withstood previous attempts at conquest. To overcome this obstacle, Mehmet II ordered the construction of mobile towers and tunnels that could be used to approach the walls without being detected. The Ottomans also launched several naval attacks on the city, which were initially unsuccessful. However, they eventually succeeded in breaking through the city's chain barrier, which had been used to block ships from entering the harbor. The siege lasted for several weeks, during which time the Ottomans faced fierce resistance from the Byzantine defenders. However, they eventually succeeded in breaching the walls and gaining control of the city. According to historical accounts, Mehmet II was personally involved in the final assault on the city. He led his troops into the city and was one of the first to enter the Hagia Sophia, one of the most famous and revered buildings in the world. Mehmet II is said to have been impressed by the building's beauty and ordered that it be converted into a mosque, which it remained until the 20th century. The fall of Constantinople was a significant event in world history, and it marked the end of the Byzantine Empire and the beginning of the Ottoman Empire's dominance in the region. Mehmet II's conquest of the city was a testament to his military prowess and strategic vision. 
and it helped to establish the Ottomans as a major power in the world. In addition to his conquest of Constantinople, Mehmet II achieved several other notable accomplishments during his reign. For example, he was responsible for the construction of many impressive buildings, including the Topkapi Palace, which served as the administrative and residential center of the Ottoman Empire for centuries. He also commissioned the Fatih Mosque in Istanbul, which became one of the most famous and revered mosques in the world. Mehmet II was a patron of the arts and sciences, and his reign saw a significant flourishing of culture and creativity in the Ottoman Empire. He supported the development of Ottoman literature and poetry, and he was known for his own poetic works, which were admired for their depth and beauty. He also encouraged the growth of music and art, and he sponsored the construction of several beautiful mosques and other architectural wonders. Mehmet II was also a skilled diplomat and negotiator, and he established diplomatic ties with several powerful states, including France and Venice. He also negotiated several important treaties that helped to ensure the stability and security of the Ottoman Empire. Another significant achievement of Mehmet II was his establishment of the Devshirme system, which allowed the Ottomans to recruit talented young boys from conquered territories and train them as soldiers, administrators, and bureaucrats. This system helped to ensure a steady supply of capable and loyal personnel for the Ottoman military and government. Overall, Mehmet II was a remarkable leader and visionary who oversaw a period of significant growth and development in the Ottoman Empire. His conquest of Constantinople and other military successes helped to establish the Ottomans as a dominant force in the region, while his support of the arts and sciences helped to create a rich and diverse cultural legacy that endures to this day. Dracula. During his conquest of the Balkans, Mehmet II came into contact with a powerful ruler named Vlad III, also known as Dracula. Vlad III was the ruler of Wallachia, and he was known for his brutal tactics and willingness to fight against the Ottoman Empire. According to some accounts, Mehmet II and Vlad III met before the Battle of Varna in 1444. Mehmet II offered Vlad III the chance to become an ally of the Ottoman Empire, but Vlad III refused. Mehmet II reportedly said to Vlad III, I would have no difficulty in destroying you and your people, but why should I? Your land is not my aim. If it were, I would have already destroyed it. The Hadith about Fatih Sultan Mehmet. Mehmet II was known for his tolerance and respect for other religions. He was a devout Muslim, but he also respected Christians and Jews. There is a famous Hadith saying of the Prophet Muhammad, that Mehmet II reportedly recited after the conquest of Constantinople. The Hadith says, Verily you shall conquer Constantinople. What a wonderful leader will he be, and what a wonderful army will that army be. Mehmet II saw his conquest of Constantinople as a fulfillment of this prophecy. Fatih Sultan Mehmet was an extraordinary figure whose impact on the Ottoman Empire and world history cannot be understated. As a brilliant military strategist, he achieved the seemingly impossible by conquering Constantinople, effectively ending the Byzantine Empire and heralding the dawn of the Ottoman Empire's Golden Age. His intelligence and vision extended beyond the battlefield as he fostered a flourishing cultural and intellectual environment, transforming Constantinople into a vibrant hub bridging east and west. Fatih Sultan Mehmet's legacy continues to inspire and reminds us of the incredible potential of human ingenuity, ambition, and determination. Thank you for watching today's video about the life and achievements of Fatih Sultan Mehmet on Turkic Tales. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, You'll be the first to know about our latest videos and stories about the history, culture, and achievements of the Turkic people. You can also show your support by giving this video a like and leaving a comment on Turkic Tales. We would love to hear from you about what topics you would like us to cover next. Your feedback is important to us, and it helps us create content that is both informative and engaging. Thank you again for watching and we look forward to bringing you more stories about the rich history and culture of the Turkic people on Turkic Tales.